tonight was really special. I thought he was excellent tonight. Um, you know, they just just in complete command of the game, complete control of the hitters, complete control of counts, um, executed, you know, a lot of pitches tonight. So um, just it was a great start by Eric. And, um, you know, he's throwing the ball well. I thought he was, you know, almost overpowering at times tonight. Um, it was it was a really good start. What does it do for the club to get an outing like that? Him, an outing like Hauser gave you, you know, sort of from the, you know, I, we, we call it the back end of the rotation. I know you don't think about it like that, but just from throughout the rotation, it, outings like that. Yeah, I mean, our, our success is, you know, on our entire pitching staff, and um, these guys are taking the ball the same number of times that, you know, Brandon and, Corbin and Freddie are and um, you know it, it's meaningful so they're they're pitching good games they're they're getting deep into games um, and it's it obviously means a lot and they're you know putting up more most importantly zeros um, and so it's those lead to wins so they're you know doing their part of the Eric's had two straight starts going through two seven innings that's you know any any starter that's that's significant um, so job well done what went into the decision to have him hit for himself there with the bases loaded in the sixth? Was that a back and forth thing, or did you know the whole way you were going to? No, he was going to hit there. Um, I mean, I, I just thought the way he'd been pitching, you know, he was he was a, he was the candidate to get the seventh through the seventh inning out. So he, he had just pitched so well, he was going to get through that inning, and and he did. Craig, we've talked a lot about really good. At one in that uh, third inning. Uh, he was buying 0-2 right away and then went nine pitches before he doubled. Yeah, that was that was the at-bat of the game. It was kind of the at-bat I circled as the at-bat of the game. Um, just, you know, staying in it. Um, you know, a spot where Esky knew he had to make contact and fell fell behind. Um, Nola made a couple good pitches, I thought, to, to get ahead in the count. Um yeah, and then Nesky just said, I'm not, you know, I'm putting the ball in play. Um, and, he, and he battled to do it. And that's, you, 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 you saw it, I think. Um, and, he, you know, he didn't, didn't do anything great with it. Just, just hit a ball, put, put a ball in play. But it, but it did something for him. We got rewarded for it. Craig, in, in a long inning like that with 37 pitches, how, how important is it to cash in on innings like that? Like, like Escobar did and then Yelly after him. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think you're right. Um, you know, I mean, I th we had done. You know, you, we take a, you take a piece of them when you do that. But he, his he had thrown so few pitches the the two innings before that it's not like his pitch count was out of control after that. If he if he gets through that inning, so the the game's in st good shape. Even you know if he puts up just gives up one or whatever there. Even if we forced a long long inning, so it, it was good to cash in there for sure. Um, it. it you know, eventually it made them go to their bullpen a little earlier because we had a lead, um, and then that that worked out well. Worked out well later in the game, so um, it's always important, I think, to to cash in and to play with a lead against a, a good starter.